Today I'm going to be showing you how to do LibSM64 for Blender. So first of all, we're going to have to go to the links provided in the description, which have both the bow on Battlefield from Mario 64 for Blender and the um, add-on for Blender. After downloading the add-on and adding it, by going to edit preferences, installing it, and then double clicking on the zip, you'll be greeted with this if you search up lib. There's a little check mark here, and if you check mark it, it will add this down here. Here at the insert Mario thing, there's a place where you can look and choose uh, a ROM, which is .n64. I, I cannot provide one because it's not allowed. So you're gonna have to find one yourself. And after doing this and after importing the ROM, you can scale a plane onto the ground as a little ground point. Insert Mario, which doesn't work anymore. But trust me, it worked. <laughs> it's not working now. Um, this is dumb. What? What did I do wrong? Which way? Okay, I was using the wrong ROM. Now I have the correct one. Now I can click Control Mario keyboard, and I can jump on like this. Do a backflip and stuff like that. And you can then stop this. I don't know how to do that anymore. You can press S and then stop it. Go back to the beginning. You can change the scale of Mario to like 45. So now when you insert him, he's way bigger. But if you change it to like 1000 and insert him, he'll be tiny. And you can mess around with this thing. I usually keep it on 200 because it's just the right size. And uh, this, this is wrong. So this is the right size, and now I can control the keyboard and go like this, and it's very nice and smooth. But we don't have much of a level to go around with. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna delete everything in the scene, including Mario, and import our OBJ, which is the bow on battlefield. So now it downloads, we have, um, we have to download the battlefield. So we go here. Dollar 3D model OBJ. Sorry, I have a small, slight cold. So now we want to extract everything. And now we have the textures and the source. And but the source is, of course, inside of another zip, which we have to extract again. Inside of this zip, there's an OBJ. How to import this is you go to File, Import, .obj, which is a wave front in this sense. And we go to Boa Battlefield Source, this, and then we can do the MLT or the OBJ. I use the OBJ. And now we have a giant version of Boa Battlefield for Mario to run around in. And then we can change this to the textured version to see how nice it looks and stuff. And now we can grab this on X and grab it on Y and we can insert Mario. He's a bit too big though, so we're gonna have to change a few things. Yeah, it works basically. That's what you're supposed to do, but we're not done yet, so we wanna we wanna fix this completely. So what we can do is we can go to Mario and delete him, change him to like a 500 and then grab his spawn point and make sure that it's exactly where we want it to be and make sure that Mario spawns exactly there and we can insert him and it was a bit too perfect and voila you have Mario. And the problem with this is that you can't really see it so well, so we can change this to 700. That should do it.
Okay, now my headphones work again. Yeah. Now you can control Mario around. He's around the scale that he's supposed to be. You can press S and zoom in whenever you want and change your perspective however you like it. This is a pretty good perspective in my opinion. So, and now you have him. You have Mario in Boam Battlefield in Blender. The nice thing about having him in Blender is because you can make whatever levels you want that are yours. And yeah, this is what you can do with Blender. It's a very powerful tool. I would recommend it over Maya. I have recently been using Maya and it sucks. So if anybody is asking the question whether they should use Blender or Maya for modeling, it's definitely Blender in my opinion because you can do cool stuff like this. Anyways, that was the tutorial. Have a nice day and please like and subscribe.